Hey guys, Adam here. Question for today is, how do we know and how do we calculate what size fuse we need compared to the, the aftermarket accessories we're actually going to fit? Well, there's a calculation around it and it's not that difficult. If we look here, if we were, happen to be wiring up a set of 215 Nava LED lights that we've got on the front of the Raptor here, just the two big ones, not the small ones at this point, uh, ultimately what we, do, what we know is that the Nava lights produce 165 watts each. There's two of those, so it's 330 watts. We take the watts divided by the voltage, so it's 330, and in this case 12 volts, gives us 27.5 amps. Okay, so it's the, it's the total wattage divided by the voltage actually tells us the amperage that we actually will be drawing on that particular circuit. So in that case, it's 27.5 amps, so we can fit quite easily a, a 30, maybe even a 40 amp uh, fuse to that. If we were moving in towards a, a, a 24 volt setup, like on a, on a truck or something like that, it's the same principle, total watts divided by the, the voltage, which in this case is 24, and that then gives us the amperage. So guys, what we have here in, in the Nava Raptor is an example of a fuse box setup. Reason why we fuse everything is to make sure that the circuits that we're actually running are protected. If, a, if we have a short circuit, it can produce heat, which can in effect, in effect actually cause a fire, or if there's any surges in the, in the electrical system, it, the fuse will actually protect the accessories and everything that we've fitted. If you have a look over here, we have a fuse box here. Everything is individually labeled and we're running the appropriate fuses for the, for the purpose. Hope that really helps, guys. If you need anything or you want to ask any further questions, leave a comment below and we can help you with that moving forwards.